Welcome back. In this video, we'll be assembling frame six, which is almost identical to frame five. They're both about 90 inches wide, open top frames. What I wanna show in this video is a different method to align the frame to the frame construction board. In frame five, I aligned the keel gussets and the uh, chine gussets to the frame construction board. And then the holes didn't quite align up here at the shear gussets. So I had to make adjustments. I think a better way of doing this is to align the keel gussets to the frame construction board and the shear gussets, and then just force a tight fit at the chine gussets. So that's what I'll be showing you today. As before, I used dowels to align the keel components to the frame construction board and dry fit the shear gusset. I then move to the top side of the boat and repeat the process on the shear gussets. Note that under the keel gusset and the shear gussets, there are dowels aligning the frame components to the frame construction board. However, there are no dowels holding the frame components in position underneath the chine gussets, which means that I can move the frame components in the chine area, creating a tight fit. I first attach the chine gusset to the chine filler with a screw. Then I clamp the joint to ensure all the components fit tightly together. I repeat the process on the other chine. We remove the gussets. We wet each surface with unfilled epoxy. and then coat each surface with thickened epoxy. Before permanently attaching with silicon bronze screws. I was a bit impatient, but I should have let the epoxy cure overnight before flipping the frame over. I remove the dowels and drill holes back through the keel gusset and the shear gussets. Turn the frame around and realign it to the frame construction board. With the frame aligned to the frame construction board, we can dry fit the shear gussets and then permanently attach them with epoxy and silicon bronze screws.
While I should have coated each surface with neat epoxy, I mistakenly went straight to thickened epoxy. Another issue was caused by me flipping the frame over before the epoxy cured. I had a gap in the joints and therefore I used a spatula to get more epoxy into the joints. After that fix, I finished permanently attaching the shear gussets to the frame. And clean up the excess epoxy. Now I can add the cross member with no need to adjust the frame positioning as I had to do in frame 5. After letting the epoxy cure overnight, I had to come back and sand off the excess epoxy the next day. Hopefully it's obvious at this point that I do not recommend moving the frame until the epoxy has cured. Okay, no more fixing mistakes. We attach the bulkhead with screws. And then finally, realign the frame to the frame construction board and attach the strong back legs. While not critical, I try to keep each leg the same length below the waterline. I mark the frame center and the waterline on each leg. Well, that will do it for frame six. Till next time, cheers.